Hi, Yogita. How are you? I'm fine. Sir, actually, my name is Meena. Uh, my sister's name is Yogita. Oh, okay, okay. Fine, fine. No issues. Okay. So, how many years of experience you have with respect to testing? Uh, only one year of ex experience. Okay. okay. Fine, fine. Okay. So, uh, you have experience in manual testing or in automation testing? Manual testing, sir. Manual testing. Okay. Fine. Great. Okay. So, can you tell me the various fields that you will uh, make sure that are covered in the test case template when you are writing test cases? Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, I will uh, write the test ID. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, step two, proceed. Uh, description. Test scenarios we will cover. Mm -hmm. uh, Preconditions. Uh, after that, uh, we will uh, enter the accepted result. Mm -hmm. Actual result and uh, status. Correct. Right. So these all. And what about the test data? Uh, yes, sir. test data and test steps also. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll have to make sure that we enter test steps, test data. And I think actually actual result, expected result, you already covered. Yeah. Yes. No so issues with that. Okay. Fine. Now, can you give me the test cases for the vending machine? Welding machine. Mm -hmm. Vending uh, machine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, welding machine, I don't uh, No, no, not, not, yeah, not welding. Actually, it's a vending machine, vending. Uh, I don't know, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, you don't know much about vending machine. Okay, fine, fine. Yeah, sir. I don't know. Yeah. So, actually, it's an automated machine that provides items uh, such as snacks, cigarettes, and lottery tickets to the consumers after cash or credit has been there. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got fine, it. Fine. Yeah, still, if you're not comfortable with uh, thinking of the test scenarios, uh, that's fine. We can move to some other question. Or if you have got the understanding, then we can discuss about the test scenarios. Uh, yeah, sir. Uh, te test scenarios cover uh, all the uh, things uh, like uh, high level documentation. Mm -hmm. For an example, um, you have given the example, right? Right. right. So, uh, first of all, the customer should. Uh, go and enter uh, whatever it uh, the customer wants mm -hmm. right uh, like juice chips uh, whatever uh, the customer needs right. uh, he needs he will test that uh, mm -hmm. and he should uh, able to uh, do payment mm -hmm. uh, he should able to get the product and uh, after that uh, the closure the uh, the thank you messages mm -hmm. if there is on the screen right right so those it's things the... are there right yes. then there can be negative scenarios as well no sir uh, scenarios are always positive oh. uh, test cases may be uh, positive or negative right right okay so can you tell me the negative test cases yeah sir uh, if uh, i uh, try to do the payment it's mm -hmm. not happening Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, or uh, I entered uh, for coffee and it is giving me the chips packet. Correct. Right. Uh, uh, if uh, after uh, finishing my procedure, mm -hmm. it is uh, giving me sorry uh, content on the screen mm -hmm. instead of thank you. Mm -hmm. Visit uh, visit again. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's okay yeah yeah i think that's good okay now let's say uh, you <coughs> sorry you found a defect while doing testing okay now you already have access to the bug tracking system but the moment you went over there to log the issue you found that bug tracking system itself is not working right the website is yes. not getting loaded or you're not able to log in so some issue with the bug tracking system then what would you do in this situation? Uh, hmm. There is a group uh, in our company. We are having a group on Slack. We can contact there also. Okay. And okay. Uh, uh, we can uh, tell the bug there. 
mm-hmm. or we can call, take the calls right right absolutely so the... yeah yeah please go ahead please go ahead yeah sir that's it we can do okay okay so uh, there can be multiple things i think the answer which you gave is one of the good option that to communicate via you know skype teams slack channel that you are using and to basically inform or make them aware that there is an issue in this user story or with respect to this feature that is a good thing another thing is also you can escalate via email as well right and you can keep your managers or leads in the copy and you can send them an email okay yes. so that is also there right okay now can you tell me uh, what what actually will you do in this situation let's say you are supposed to test a video file okay which actually okay. did not open so how will you debug this scenario first uh, first of all i will uh, make a the bug report mm-hmm. for an example we will i will enter the summary of the bug mm-hmm. steps to proceed uh, mm-hmm. the uh, evidence we want and the, uh, and the developer who, to whom i will assign mm-hmm. right the environment on which i am checking that mm-hmm. i am testing that mm-hmm. and uh, i will uh, describe all the details mm-hmm. in mail or on slack and send them okay okay <coughs> so this was about the communication that you have to do with them yes okay. but how will you debug this scenario let's say um, i want to try to find a root cause analysis or i want to analyze this scenario why this has come up right? why why this video file is not getting open so what are all the different things that you will try and to come up to a conclusion that in basically with respect to this scenario 1 3 5 for example it's not working scenario 2 4 6 it's working something like that so so how will you debug uh i will check my network if it mm-hmm. is connected or not uh i will check that build uh, i have downloaded is uh, stable or not right uh and uh, right okay build is stable uh, or if not there, if there yeah yeah so build once the smoke testing passes then automatically the build will be stable right okay hmm. yeah uh, there are environment uh, uh, defect like uh, some bugs i can see and that uh, developer cannot see mhm that uh, that i told uh, that build improper okay. build okay okay with respect to environment you are telling yes. okay fine so what what can happen in this scenario let's say if, if there is a video based application which you are not able to open so then you can uh, try some other scenarios like whether you were able to open that particular video in a mobile android mobile mm-hmm. or in a tablet or let's say in ios based device are you able to open that compatibility testing yeah yeah that is one of the thing another thing is if uh, let's say maybe the device charging is going minimum or it is getting less with respect to 15 or 20 percent charging is only there that's why the video is not getting open or maybe that video needs some kind of uh, space or memory from the device that's why it is not getting open so these are various scenarios okay these are yeah. just the example that i am giving to you yeah uh, this is there apart from that what else can be there hmm okay now it can also happen let's say you are op- trying to open the video in some particular mobile now you have kept the mobile in a vertical mode it's getting open yeah. now you keep the mobile in the auto rotated or horizontal mode it's not getting open so again this is also one of the case or a scenario that you can tell that it might impact the video file which is not getting open so this is how you debug right yeah. then you can also <coughs> sorry then you can also try with respect to uh what i can say uh yeah the various devices we have already covered mobile phones ios android we have already covered yeah okay so this is there mm-hmm. yeah so i was think yeah i was telling that uh, in a laptop when you are trying to open that particular file then it's not opening or in a desktop based application it is there so these are again few of the scenarios yes sir okay 
Okay, now, um, yeah. So which are the challenges uh, you face in testing generally? Can you tell me the real time scenarios or the challenges from the real time, like which you have faced in yes, testing? Sir. Hmm. Uh, first of all, I have done uh, like uh, smoke testing. I have done, I have not faced anything like any issue. Mm -hmm. But uh, in testing, there are some modules which are not opening. For that, uh, by resolving that, uh, I am getting the hurdles in other modules mm -hmm. like uh, regression. Mm -hmm and uh, yeah is it possible for you to remove that headphones is it okay with you if because some background noise is coming actually yeah yeah now can you speak please just a minute sir. yeah 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 voice is clear it's clear Okay. Uh, sir, can you repeat the question? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So I was asking, which are the real-time challenges that you have faced in testing so far? Uh, like that, I have not faced any problem. Okay, okay. No issues. See, when this when this type of interview question comes, no, what you can tell us, let's say, uh, let's take a scenario where you are writing test scenarios or you are writing test cases. Now the requirement gets changed all of a sudden in your release plan or let's say if you're following agile methodology, it gets changed in your sprint or in an iteration. So what you will do, you'll have to modify or update your test cases. Yeah. Let's say you are writing your test cases in any test management tool, Jira is there or any other tool. <laughs> so what would happen is ultimately you'll have to update your test cases. So this is like a rework that you have to do right yes, so this is one of the challenge that you are getting in your you will face in the testing another uh, scenario can be that for example in uh, your uh, frd or brd few of the features or about the validation messages it is not mentioned but when you test from that perspective or that point of view so you are able to find the messages but I mean, you are getting those validation messages, but at the same time, you are not able to uh, test with respect to actual result and with respect to expected result that is this validation message proper or not, or does it need some modification or some kind of updation, right? So lack of knowledge from the business analyst team. That is one of the case. Another case can be, let's say you are testing the functionality and you are testing from the functional point of view, but no one has told you about non-functional requirements or no one has told you about performance testing or let's say how many, what is the volume that is required for that particular thing or let's say load testing or stress testing kind of scenarios. So, and so those things will be coming into the picture, into the surface at the time of release. So this is again yeah. challenges where product managers or owners cannot update that particular uh, user story or requirement with respect to non-functional requirements as well, right? So that can be one of the scenario. Okay, now consider a web-based application, the e-commerce web-based application like flipkart.com, okay? So how will you test this particular application? First of all, I will uh, check that I, I am a user or not. I, I would able to register on that application or not. Mm -hmm. After registration, I will I would get a login logged in into the application. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I should able to select the options like uh, whatever category I have to select, like mm -hmm. tips, food items, uh, machinery items, clothes. That uh, after that I should able to uh, do add the add the add to cart. Mm -hmm. Right. After that, uh, I should able to get um, do the payment. Mm -hmm. uh, after successfully payment, uh, 
there is a option uh, there are there is a box in which uh, all the details of my uh, uh, ordered uh, ordered uh, product mm. like a uh, name qu quantity uh, amount that's uh, all written right correct that, then you can also cover the test scenarios from payment option like you are yes. it will be from <coughs> debit card credit card yes. option is there right upi options are there right so then cash on delivery is there so cod option so these are the various payment options that also you can cover in the test scenarios then uh, search is working in the flipkart properly or not login scenario logout scenario registration new user old user expired user so these are all the various scenarios that you can test with okay okay uh, yogita i am done with the interview do you have any questions for me no sir yeah uh, i know it's bit of a short interview right but uh, this these are what the questions that we can that you can expect in one year of experience in testing interviews okay yeah and uh, uh, please try to you know whenever you get some questions on test scenarios please try to cover more and more scenarios okay yeah. like cover from every aspect functionality then non functional load testing stress testing everything so it would be it would be a very you know you'll get a positive response in your interview okay okay any any other question for me yogita oh, this video will post on youtube yeah yeah so actually it's getting uploaded yeah just right. a second yeah 